Welcome to another video. Today's package makes me a liar because I promised not to buy more gotcha sets, but I did. In my defense though, Kids Room recently updated and had something in stock that was really exciting for both me and I'm sure some of y'all who watch my shop. So let's get to unpacking these. This first set is just another of the pillow shaped Moni Moni animals, except they have a lot of new variations now. These are really cute and they this new set has a bunch of different types of animals. I bought it for this little guy. The little ah, hammerhead shark he's so cute and he's purple which is perfect purple is my favorite color so this little guy is for me these do come in non-resealable packaging but look at how cute they are they're really soft a little stretchy but i'm just in love with this face look at it it's so cute and I love how it's not uniform. They didn't just make it one solid marshmallow shape. They gave it a little personality. <laughs> That's so cute. And then we also have... Some of these I'm honestly not sure what they are. I want to say this is either a walrus or a cat. Another kappa, except this one's really detailed. Compared to the last one. Um, what are these? These are arctic themed, I think. So this may be another walrus, perhaps. Um, what, is, what is this? I'm not even sure. This actually kind of reminds me of a squid. It has indentations on the bottom that make, makes it look like it has tentacles. So maybe it's like an octopus or something. Here we have a penguin. Very cute. This guy cracks me up. He's just got a face, so a little marshmallow guy. Then this one, really cute. I'm not sure what this is. It reminds me of a pig, but it's not a pig. And then this little Yeti guy who has his mouth open and some fangs. That's so cute. I'm slightly more prepared than usual. I have the listing right here, so I decided to look up what each of these are. Green globefish is what the listing says. Um, then we have... Uh, a penguin, an otter. Okay, that makes a little more sense. I think this is probably the otter. A shovel, a dumpling, a menko, and a seal. And then there's two of them that did not translate correctly. So um, we can we can imagine what these are, but we can't know for sure. The next set is really cute. Um, I've always wanted one of these. These are slightly different than the ones I've always looked at. Um, but essentially, a while ago, Japan started selling for, for kids, like as a toy, these little balloon squeeze toys that were a little flatter on the picture. These are probably the mini size. And they, as decoration, had little yarn flowers at the top. They've always fascinated me, but I could never really buy them because they were really cheap. But buying them from the stores made them expensive, especially with the proxy fees, so I just never bothered. So I was really excited when I saw this set pop up on Kids Room. They're obviously a little different. Smaller, rounder. They don't have the flower at the top. So they come in pre already opened packaging. Little bags. Here's what it looks like. It's just a balloon. Literally, <laughs> it feels exactly like a balloon. And they just tied it at the top with a face. And inside of these is, I believe, flour. These are very easy to DIY, um, but they just never look the same to me. I, I've always wanted to just get one of the official ones just to see what it's like. So this is fun. <laughs> mom, 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 mom. Okay, these are fun. That's cute. So we have all of these variations with different faces. I got the angry guy. But there's also very happy ones and a sad one. So they're cute. Here's the next set. The bag broke, so they were kind of all over the place. But I think this is a lunch set from J Dream. Yes, J Dream is right there. 
So these are interesting. We have some squid, um, probably more fish, a bento box. These are all bento boxes, but they all have different things in them. That looks like steak or beef and then some vegetables maybe. I'm not sure which one I want to open. I kind of want to open this and according to the description, these are squishy. They come in resealable bags. Wow. Very sturdy and hard plastic. Actually, yeah, that's plastic. It kind of felt like wood at first. Okay, good. So they do just pop off because I really didn't want to take the tape off. Oh, I opened the wrong one. How? <laughs> okay. Well, here's this one. Oh, they are squishy. How cute. Wow, that looks real. It's quite amazing. And these are a really good size for dolls, I think. Just make yourself or find sticks that look like mini chopsticks and you're good to go. And I like how the top is also attached to the chain so you don't lose it. That's a really neat idea. So I'm going to open this one as well because I'm really curious to see what it looks like. Oh, <laughs> it's literally just two squid heads. It's kind of gross now that I think about it, but I really do like that they're resealable fairly easily. It's very easy to put these cardboard pieces back. So those are really fun. I really like that idea. So there's three other var variations that I'm not going to open, um, but you can see them on the checklist and Kids Room has the picture of what they look like in color on their website. The next set is a little disappointing, I'm not going to lie. Um, I was under the impression these were squishy. Everything on the picture kind of made it seem like they were going to be. But these are actually just figures. Very hard ones to be in. exact. And Toys Cabin, that's who made them. I'm not really sure what they are. They just look like little vinyl figures, which admittedly are really nice. Like the top is very glossy. They have a nice weight to them. These are very high quality figures that you're supposed to stack, which is really cute. But uh, I'm not a cat person. <laughs> I don't need more figures. I already have a lot. So these are probably just going to go straight to my shop. They're very cute though. And if you get more than one, I do think they'll make a cute display. Adorable. So here's a good look at this one. Very classy. And in addition to that kind of really dark reddish purple, we have light pink and orange, blue, and a green. And they all have more or less different faces. Here's the next set that I find extremely adorable. These are by J Dream as well, and they are fruits, basically. <laughs> so here's the checklist. It has five variations. Um, they're just fruits in, in little casings like you would find in the grocery store in Japan, which are really cute. So here's a strawberry pack. And I believe the strawberries are squishy. Yes, they are. I can feel them through the plastic. Here's some green grapes. These are so cute. A little tinier than I was expecting, but they're still really cute and highly detailed. And then I want to say these are peaches. I think they're peaches. And then we have this big one two pack. Probably a celebratory pack. Really cute. So I love these. They're, they're really adorable. This is a set of row, um, which is fish. <laughs> so these are little charms, squish toys, that when you squeeze them, um, eggs come out which is a little, little weird now that I'm describing it, but they're very cute. So I was eyeing this little guy. Really cute and detailed. They're very soft, flexible plastic. And I can feel the eggs in there. Little beads. It's a little hard to do, actually. There we go. Uh-oh, <laughs> I popped it out. Okay, so maybe don't squish it that hard, but... This is cute. I love this idea. It's a little weird, but unique. Very unique. So here is the blue one. 
the green one, pink, and black. I was tempted by this black one, but I really wanted the crazy looking one. Now, before I get to the last thing that I'm very excited to show you guys, um, I did also buy another set of these sodas because they sold out pretty fast the first time around. So I decided to get another set in case anyone still wanted to. I already have a cola, so the cola is up for grabs, the whole set is. And I will make sure to list that on my shop. Now, here's what was so exciting. Do you guys remember these? Because I got two sets. I had people messaging me months after they sold out for these and I, I just could not find more because they sold out in Japan as well. I think I managed to restock them once and they had to be a little more expensive because I had to pay a little extra just to find that one listing um, and purchase it and have it shipped over. But they made a series two, which is really exciting. It's the same exact mold. So you have the really round one, the half squished and then the flattened one, except there's usually six in the set. Half of the set glows in the dark. And then the other, I think, changes color or something? That's interesting. So, they're so cute. They're still really cute. Oh my goodness. They're like little money money texture type of squishies. They're a really good size. And they're blobfish. Okay guys, to be quite honest, I'm not sure what these do. It says according to the listing and what Google can translate that they color change in the sunlight. So I'm assuming you would have these by your window and they would change colors. According to the pamphlet, they change to pink, yellow, and blue. So that's very interesting, really interesting. And then the pink ones just glow in the dark. They glow really brightly, which is cool. And that is it for today's gotcha haul. Like always, the leftovers from these sets that I bought will be available on my eBay and store envy shops. I will also leave the links to the English site of Kids Room where you can buy these sets for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.